whole game, Simon? What do you think? It was. Uh, uh, we didn't obviously reach the heights that we have done recently. Um, well, the last two games, certainly at home against Telford and Leeds United the other night. Um, and maybe it was a case of after Lord Mayor's show. Um, but we've got the all-important three three points. We've had plenty of occasions this season, home and away, where we've, where we've really have scaled the heights and, and, uh, and played very well and come away with nothing. So, massive positive is we, we took those three points. That's right. And particular, and, and Adam played exceptionally well. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought everyone was slow, if I'm honest, to, to start off with. Um, it took some time to, to get into the game. It was a quieter atmosphere than the other night. Um, but we need to we needed someone to trigger that um, and break into the game and get get ourselves into the game. And to be fair, he did that with uh, setting up the first goal and obviously scored um, the all important second goal. Um, and then he grew in stature after that. Uh, so yeah, I was pleased with him. And you must have been pretty pleased with the response to their goal. It was pretty quick. Yeah, and it had to be really. Um, and it was almost it was one of those days where we were almost waiting for something wrong to happen to trigger us getting, into, getting involved really in the game. I thought they were the better team to start with, but um, like I say, you know, we've played some fantastic football this season, haven't scored, uh, and we've dominated games and haven't come away with any points. Um, but it triggered off a good run um, previously when we won seven out of eight games. Right. A couple of games where we played 4-4-2 here, we picked up ugly wins. Uh, but it was the start of a good run, and, and if we do that again, then we'll be able to. And, and talking to the players in the bar afterwards, they were all of a similar opinion. It was a, a tough game that we had to battle for 90 minutes and eventually got a good result. It's a great result. It is, it is. And Staley Bridge are, are full time, but they're on a bit of a bad run. Uh, but the scrapping, and yeah. I thought the scrap today, I, thought, I saw them the other day against Barrow. John and I went to watch the game, and, um, and the heads went went down and yeah. I thought don't give them any encouragement but we did um, but sooner or later a team of, full of talented players yeah. which is what they've got are going to turn the corner and get a result and it, could, it was a slippery game, kind of game for us today but uh, we showed strength of character to come through it a um, bit of a glue pot in the middle of the park yeah. uh, because we played on the pitch the other night and it could have proved to be uh, one where a lot of teams could go under but I thought the defence, the defensive structure in the team, second half, stood up and was countered. Um, and were very strong. We didn't really concede any chances second half. Uh, we learnt from probably the first half yeah. and got better. And in the circumstances, we are still missing quite a few key players. What, what's the latest with those, Simon? Uh, Lee Franks is doing some straight line running today, three points of pace on the pitch. He's progressing ahead of schedule. I would have thought he'd probably be still at least three weeks away. But at least there's light at the end of the tunnel now. Michael Woods is going for an MRI scan this next week, so at least we can clarify what the problem yeah. is. Uh, Ashley Wars fold. I didn't risk him coming off the bench today because I thought, well, it's another week under his belt, yeah. you know, of, uh, to repair the damage and to get strength in that hamstring. Uh, Dominic Rowe was also doing straight line running, but he's not quite at that stage where he can twist and turn with his ankle. Um, Adam Boulder is suspended today. That he'll be obviously back in the squad and, yeah. and they're reckoning for next week. So they're all big players yeah. uh, that we're missing, and they're certainly missing a creative element in the team. Um, but I thought the likes of Adam and Anton have, have done very well in the last three games. And Anton picked up an injury himself. What's the yeah. situation? Well, he had his hamstring uh, um, strapped before the game, uh, which would strengthen it somehow. I don't even you know, have to ask the physio how, how that works. But um, he's had a bit of a tightness in there recently. He's come through the last couple of games. Maybe it's taken its toll a little bit the other yeah. night on a heavy pitch and today. Um, but he, um, he was tight enough and he said, look, you know, it's had enough, it needs to come off. And how crucial is it that we build on this particular result in terms of next week's performance at Leamington? Yeah, I mean, Leamington had the scouts here today. Um, there's no doubt that we didn't perform anywhere near that we have done recently. Which is not a bad thing when you've got scouts come in. Because they won't <laughs> probably write and say, well, um, we're any good. but. Um, but you know we need to go away and be stubborn in defence, like we were second yeah. half, and we need to build on this. We definitely need to come away with something next week to try and narrow that gap between us and the playoffs. Um, because if we do that, we're right in it again. Yeah. It's a funny old league this year, uh, but we have collected quite a few wins as well. Uh, I know we've had some defeats, narrow, narrow defeats, but there's a lot of points to still to play for. Yeah. And if we can get some forward momentum now, a lot of the top group of teams are conceding goals. At the yeah. Moment. And we, if we're the stubborn ones, and we're not going away, 
you know, we're going to fight back and we're going to keep building momentum. Because an ugly win will take that at this stage. Um, but we need to go to places like Leamington and prove a point now that we can be tough enough, uh, hard enough and resilient enough to get the points. And going back to the injuries, how many of those players do you think would be likely to be in your mind for next week's game? Obviously Adam Bolden. No, obviously, be. yeah, he had a hamstring problem, but he's, he's definitely okay now. Yeah. So it, it'd be great to get, be able to pick him. Yeah. Um, Anton, we'll have to see with the hamstring. You yeah. know, it's, it takes someone a lot more qualified than me to actually say, yeah, you know, six days or seven days rest. Um, we'd miss him if he comes out of the team now because he's added his um, strength and height into the team. Um, Ashley Walsall will, will be fit for selection. Which you uh, must be pleased with. Definitely. I mean, yeah. he adds that threat in behind and uh, great feet. So, you know, we've got some decent attacking options then. You know, we've got five attackers yep. that can all score goals and all, all can play. Uh, Jamal Smith uh, has come from Sheffield United and, and he's made a good impression so far. And he was unlucky today. And I'd actually said to him, you know, on another day I would have definitely played you. It would definitely put you on. Uh, but we needed to change the... Um, personnel in midfield because of Anton Brown, so it's ended up Matt Bloomer going in midfield. Playing out of position actually doing a good role. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to we'll have to see it. We've got to, uh, I probably liken it to golf at the minute, you know, in terms of it's a match play situation between us and the other top ten. Um, and we've got to pick a team that will get results each week. Yeah. And we can be consistent with selection and that that's great. Yeah. But I have to pick the players that I think will win each game. And I will do. And, and you must look back. I mean, Wednesday was great. We won three one. But this is the critical one, isn't it? And, and I, I said that to the lads. And sometimes you don't want to um, burden players with too much expectation and pressure. But sooner or later, you know, there is a there's a point where you have to say we need a result. Yeah. By hook or by crook, you need to get through it. And you need, I need the three points. Yeah. And today, you know, if you you're going to be serious about getting up there. We had to win somehow, and yeah. going one 0 down. It's a test of character. A uh, few players under par, but we got the result. We knew the crosses into the box and set pieces. We could score goals if we just kept it tight, and even if it weren't at our best. And that's prevailed at the end of the day. Um, and you know, Brackley do that enough, don't they? They yeah. shut up shop, and, uh, and they're resilient, very good team. Um, and we can do it both ways. And with the personnel that was fit today, we had to do it that way. Yeah. Uh, and we've been proven right because it's, it's got the points. Now we don't want to then go away and put in a flaky performance. Yeah. Got to build on it, got to get a win and come back and win again. Good luck next week. Thanks, Jed. Okay. Cheers. Cheers.